Netflix has a big catalogue of documentaries, and among the historical genre is a series called Greatest Events of World War II in Colour. It is exactly as the title suggests. It's footage of some of the key moments of World War II that have been colourised. The events covered are the Battle of Britain, Pearl Harbour, Midway, D-Day, the Dresden firebombing, and Hiroshima, to name just a few. The footage is accompanied by voiceover narration and intercut with various historians expanding on and explaining the details and complexities presented. I did enjoy the series and I learned a few things along the way, but there was also a lot of things that made me go, huh? from time to time. For example, there were a lot of repeated clips. I assume this is probably due to the availability of clips and the amount of time it would have taken for the colorization process. The thing that made me notice was that in one episode you see a plane land on an aircraft carrier going left to right on screen, and in another episode the same clip is used with the plane landing right to left, and you can even see the ID numbers now read backwards. They simply flipped the clip and reused it. Another thing that caught my attention was like in the first episode, which covered the Blitzkrieg. One part explained the entry of the Spitfires joining the battle over Dunkirk, but even though the quality of the clips shown was poor, I'm fairly certain the planes they showed were in fact hurricanes. Then in the Midway episode, they did a similar thing. In a section talking about B-17s, they switched between B-17 footage and footage of C-47s and B-25s. But the biggest issue that I had with this is at times intercut with the archival footage, they include clips from movies and try and pass it off as the real thing. The episode on the Battle of Britain contains shots from the movie The Battle of Britain, zoomed in and grainy to make it look real. I'm fairly certain they did this with some of the D-Day footage as well, but the worst culprit was the Pearl Harbor episode. There's a very famous scene in the movie Torah, 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 where a stunt plane careens out of control and into the flight line, destroying other planes and almost taking out fleeing stuntmen. It was a freak accident that was included in the movie because it's a crazy piece of footage. I was stunned to see this included in the documentary, as if it was archival footage from the attack. The series claims at the start of each episode to contain rare footage from around the world, expertly restored in full colour. But this is not really true at all. In the end, I found myself trying to spot the fake stuff among the real stuff, and it distracted me from really getting into each episode. I did, however, learn some things, like how the German soldiers were jacked up on meth during the Blitzkrieg. I'd never heard of this before. The series explains that this was one reason why they rolled across their neighbouring territories so fast. There were also a few other little nuggets that I found interesting. I think the best episode was the one on D-Day. What I thought was good was that the episode covered not just Omaha Beach, which is the one that usually gets the attention, but it covered all the other landing points as well, and also what was going on on the German side. They did a very thorough job of covering it from all angles. I noticed that the African and Italian theatres were absent from the discussion. These were both key areas of the war, of course, and there's some excellent stories to be told from there. Maybe in ensuing seasons they'll cover these. So overall, there's some good content in there, and I definitely learned a few things. If they make a second season, I'll probably watch it, or at least have it on in the background while doing other things. 